feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign A sign All right, all right, what trigger man? Back in the lab And today, what we have here Today, what we got, man, we doing a rear bumper and a tailgate for a Mazda, some type of Mazda SUV, uh, paint code 45P. So we're doing the tailgate inside out, inside out, doing the bumper. And this is one of those raw bumpers, you know, the raw plastic, it gets a factory bumper, um, you know, like the Toyota and Lexus and Nissan bumpers come with that factory plastic that you have to use adhesion promoter on. So this is one of those, and um, had a guy a couple weeks back ask me, is there a way to do your adhesion promoter without using sealer, or just seal it without the adhesion promoter? And you can do that, but not on raw bumpers. Those raw bumpers, that raw plastic, it's gonna flick off on you every time. So, I have a product in here that I use from time to time. It's Bulldog Adhesion Promoter Plus. Um, yeah, and this here has the adhesion promoter built in. So it's Bulldog, you know, as Bulldog is an adhesion promoter. So it has the Bulldog in there, but also seals it and it helps you with coverage and so forth. Matter of fact, it even says on there, eliminates the need for sealer. So two in one, um, it's mainly for plastic bumpers, but you can also use it on metal. So I'm just gonna use it on the bumper and the tailgate. So I'll do both of them with it. And, um, and we'll go from there, man. But yeah, so this, this will definitely work, you know, for the guy that had that question for me. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna seal it and base it with the Segola 4600 Extreme with the Aqua Cap. And there is a 1.2 XL, I believe, in here. And then for the clear, gonna go with a Titania Cap on the digital uh, 1.3. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna seal, base, and then clear with this here. So that's the setup. So we're gonna mask up, mix up, and we're gonna get to it. Bye. All right, all right, let's get to it. We're going at 20 PSI on the adhesion promoter slash sealer. Variety pack, multi-pack, two in one to get the job done. You did. Yeah, man, so I got a real interesting story as well as a big tip when it comes to this here. This is a very sensitive subject for Trigger Man. I once was um, traumatized by peeling paint. I'll get to that in a minute. First off, what I would like to say this is one product, not this brand, but just this stage, shall I say. This stage is something that you do not want to shortcut. You don't want to go out cheap and try to save a book. You do not want to do that on adhesion promoter, okay? For me, I love um, Bulldog. I've never had it fail on me in my 27 years of spraying. I have never had a bump of peel, mirror, what else have I paid? Some chrome, I mean, never. It has never let me down. There are certain paint stores when I purchase this, when I go to purchase stuff, like when I was doing side work, they'll give me, an, oh, this is the same thing, it's the same ingredient. No the hell it ain't. I, mean, I don't care what you say, man. It's just like medication, you know, you get, um, brand name and you get generic you know you know say oh it's the same active ingredient yeah the active ingredient is the same but there's also fillers in there there's other things in there you know? can't be the same exact thing or it would have the same exact name so just never skip out man on uh, your adhesion for me you know if you see two products and you're trying to debate like uh should i get this one this one's $9.99. That was $14.99. Man, go with the $14.99. Don't, 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 don't 
gonna cheat yourself, boy. Cause when one of those bumpers come back peeled, paint peeling off, boy, your stomach gonna drop it to your feet, to your ankles. It's a horrible feeling, man. But Trigger, you said you never had anything peel off on you in your 27 years. So how would you know that? All right, check me out. Once upon a time, not long ago, in 2004, Trigger Man went to his first large dealership to work, okay? Prior to that, I was working in an independent shop. I was the main man. So, I went to work at my first dealership. There were six painters. I've been six painters there, okay? And, um, and mind you, this company came to get me. I was already working. Making six figures, I was good. But um, you know, people that work there just told the guy about me. They were looking for another painter. A few body techs told them. In this paint world, especially in Broward County, Fort Lauderdale, Pompano Beach, you know, down this way, it's a small community. Most people know everybody or know somebody who's in there. So yeah, they came to get me. Guy told me like, hey, trigger. And guy over at the shop, put it up, wanna see you. And this was right around that big hurricane. You know, if any of you guys paint down here and been down here painting for a while, back in the early 2000s, and you know, when that hurricane, that one big, big hurricane hit, and works, were, shops were backed up with work. Like a customer would just drop off their car, their check, and have to wait like a month. There was work everywhere, you know. And um, again, where I was, I was making good money. But I went over, talked to this guy, and he told me, what are you making over there? I'm like, man. And I brought him some stubs. And I brought him stubs because that's what we used to do back then. And I don't know if people are still doing that stuff. Cause when you tell somebody you're making X amount of dollars, they don't believe you, you know? So I showed them. 200 hours, 210 hours a week, you know? Like, okay, man, I can, I, can, I, can, I can guarantee you, you know, you'll make that here. You'll make it. I'm like, okay, you sure, man? Because I'm good. I'm set where I'm at. I have no problems, man. Close to my house. Five minutes, like, I have no problems. You know, like, no, 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 Trigger. I'll, I'll guarantee you more. I'm like, okay. Let's rock and roll. <clears throat> so, yeah, so I come aboard. And, again, there's five, maybe four or five other painters. I got there, mind you, this is the first time in a big shop. First time in a big shop with multiple painters. I get in there and I asked the guys, and I was doing a bumper, started out doing bumper stuff, you know, doing bumpers. And I asked the guys, like, what is what where is the adhesion promoter? What do you guys use for adhesion promoter? Mind you, I never sprayed this product, never. And um guy told me, okay, yeah, this is what we use. You know, two of the guys, you know, this is this is what we use. Okay. I spray it on the bumpers. Long story short. My first four bumper jobs all came back. All four. All four came back. Within two weeks, it was a short amount of time because I was almost like ready to get up out of there. I don't know like, what the hell is going on. So the bumpers came back, and now I'm just looking stupid, man. Like, they're peeling. I painted them, sat there, matched up paint, like, and they're peeling. And when they come back in, man, it's like, See my digital gauge isn't working. I'm using the Segola right here. Digital gauge, not working. This gun is only like five years old. I never had an issue with the battery. I don't use it that often, it still doesn't work. So yeah, man, so the bumper job, peeling. I'm like, damn. So, what the hell? I don't know what, you know what I'm saying? So I'm scraping them off with a blade, blowing, blowing them off, whatever blows off, I blew it off. And man, I called my friend. You guys have heard me talk about him on this channel before. He's kind of like my paint mentor. You know, he's got way more years in than me, and he's been around, and he knows a lot of stuff. I called him. And I'm like, look, man, I said my first four bumpers, man, they peeled off. Like, what the hell going on? He's like, what'd you spray on it? I said, some stuff, man. The guy told me it's a heat promoter, and then they have another, you know, something to um, wipe it down with, and another spray they used to put over. 
he was like, man, don't listen to them people. He said, call, tell the tell the shop to bring this the the paint rep out. Send the paint rep out and go over the product with you. Paint rep comes out. Hey, trigger man, what's going on? What's up, man? You see the bumpers? He's like, what'd you spray on them? I went and got him the bottle. I said, this here, yeah, he's a promoter. He said, what the hell? I'm like, no, man, that's not it. What? Who told you to use that? I'm like him and him. These two. No, man, no. Oh, man, no, don't listen to these guys. And the guys denied it. You know, like, no, I didn't tell you. I'm like, boy, y'all just don't. This was my younger years, man. I would be knocking somebody straight the out. You know what I mean? This was back when I was real ignorant. You know what I mean? I was ready to just, ooh, you didn't tell me to use this? Okay. <laughs> okay. We're going to have a rough ride around here, boy. Yeah, man. But, um, yeah, so the dude, they gave me some other stuff, man. And uh, he gave me the right stuff. And I never had a bumper peel since then, man. I was there three, four years, close to four years. Never had another bumper peel, you know. And those are the only four bumpers that peeled in my 27 years of painting cars, you know. And uh, so maybe that's why I'm a little bit more, you know, just, it traumatized me, man. I, I'm not doing nothing cheap, no cheap product to spray on a bumper that's gonna be the key element to what's gonna make my paint stick to that bumper. Like, never short never short yourself, man. And I just know Bulldog, it works, you know. See, I put my, my other gauge on there because the digital wasn't working. So, the first coat, I kinda just played it by ear. But yeah, man, so since that, I, I always, you know, Bulldog. I know 3M makes some too. Yeah, I know 3M is, of course, an excellent company. So theirs may be, you know, just as good. But I will never use anything other than Bulldog. So, you know, that's 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 what that is, man. And I never had another issue there working at the place, you know. And so you guys that are going out to work in those shops, man, always have a paint rep to meet you. Upon your start date, you know, the owner tells you, okay, you're going to start Monday. Okay, can you please have a paint rep meet me here Monday to go over the products? And this is if you've never used that product. If you know the product line, you know all of the different materials, then it's fine. But if you're going somewhere where there's multiple people and there's that slight chance that that can happen, please, man, please do it. And it's happened before. It's happened to other people, you know, in years and years go on. I've heard the stories and it happens, man. They do it, you know. Everybody out there ain't your friend. They come up, hey, buddy, yeah, welcome. Where were you working before here? Oh, cool, yeah. Yeah, hey, watch that body, man. Yeah, he's a he's a mother effort. Oh, that body, man? Nah, man, hey, these people ain't your friend, man, you know. These people got families. They got mortgages. They got kids. They got mamas. They got daddies. They got a family they're trying to feed. And you come in there, possibly take money away from them. So that's real, especially if you don't look like them. Please, man, <laughs> take it from Trigger. I don't play, I don't BS y'all, man. And I'm not calling no colors, no race. I just say, if you don't look like them, meaning if you're a human and they're alien, <laughs> don't trust them. You did. <laughs> yeah, man. You a boy and they a girl, don't trust them. <laughs> you know? You red, they blue, don't trust them. Call those paint reps out. Call them out. But yeah, so this product, excellent product. I've been using it. I've never had a problem with it. But I will tell you, even though it says you can eliminate sealer, it's not going to fix bad prepping. So if you have pinholes and sand scratches and you think, oh, I'm just going to seal it, load it up and cover it up, then no, it's not going to do that. It's a pretty thin material. What it will help you is with your coverage. It'll help you with coverage and it'll help you with adhesion. But to fix bad prepping, that it won't do. And this is the finished product. So that's just my little take, man. You know, you guys can do what you want to do. You could do what you want to do. But I would advise you, you go working in them shops, man. Get those paint reps out there. So this is Bulldog Adhesion Promoter Plus. Excellent product. I've been using it for years over here. Excellent product. 
I will leave a link in the description if you want to try it. Excellent product. As long as you got that big bulldog on there. Don't buy the bootleg version where it might be a pit bull or a chihuahua or something. See that bulldog, that ugly bulldog on the front? Make sure it's on there now. A lot of replica stuff going on out here. I'd hate to have y'all with some old <laughs> puppy child. But yeah, so this is what we're looking like outside, man. You know, a couple hours later. And this stuff will never peel off on you. If somebody running to the back of the car doing 100 miles per hour, it won't peel off. It will catch on fire and burn. <laughs> But it ain't gonna peel. That paint gonna be glued on that sucker. Well, that's what we looking like out the door. That's another one. Catch y'all in the next one. Yep, yep. So another angle. Just another angle showing you guys, man. You know, I twist and turn them around. Sun beat this way. Sun beat that way. Different flakes. Different metallics stand up different ways. You know, I'm always trying to, trying to show you. Trick man ain't playing. Now Thor and... The broke down body man finishing putting the finishing touches on the Mazda here. That dude man, that dude there big giant cave man boy. I call him Thor. See that big sprinter van over there? That sucker will reach across and take a windshield out by itself. Not with no suction cups. Not with I'm talking about just two hands. Man, that dude here is a dang on. I don't know what planet that sucker from, boy. Thor. Huh? Big goofy version of Thor, not the cool, smooth version. Hey, and on my Segola, remember it wasn't working? Man, I left out on my lunch break. I went and got me a battery from Batteries Plus, and I had to get my thing going, man. Always take care of your stuff, man. I don't have nothing shabby and broke down and malfunctioning. I can't have that stuff. That boy, trick man, take care of stuff. But anyway, yeah, hope this here. That fella that left that, that message, hope it helped you, brother. And uh, anybody else, you know, um, yeah, this is true stories, man. Stuff I tell you guys is just life experience. Hopefully, you know, it could prevent somebody else from going through the same thing, you know. Or you may just say, screw that. That just happened to him. It never happened to me. I'm a good guy. Everybody likes me. So, hey, man, whatever. On that note, your boy Trigger signing off. Please like, share, subscribe. I would ask that you tell a friend. And please tell his girlfriend. Peace.